So when you're dividing decimal, sometimes it's helpful to move the decimal the same number of places to turn those values into whole numbers. So now I have negative 189 divided by 3. Well, 3 fits into 18 six times. Bring down the 9. 3 fits into 9 three times, but it was negative, so it should say negative 63 here. You can do the same thing on this one by turning it into 220 divided by negative 8. I am thinking of a number. If you multiply my number by 4, add negative 4 to the product, and then take one third of the sum, the result is negative 6. What is my number? First, we're going to guess a number and check to see whether it is correct. So I'm going to guess that my number is maybe negative 2. So I'm going to multiply my number by 4, which gives me negative 8. And then I'm going to add negative 4 to that. 8 plus negative 4 is negative 12. And then I'm going to take a third of the sum. So one third of negative 12. Well, that would be negative 12 on the top and 3 on the bottom. 3 fits into 12 four times, so that gave us an answer of negative 4 but my result was supposed to be numbers, or was negative six. So determine whether ours was correct. Negative two is not the number this person was thinking of. As it came out to negative four, instead of negative six. We are going to write and solve an equation to determine the number and check your solution. So here, our unknown number we can call x. Then we're going to multiply that number by four. So four x and add negative four to it. Then we're going to take a third of the sum. So not a third of just the 4x, not a third of the negative 4, but a third of the whole sum. And our answer should come out to negative 6. Now to solve this, we're going to use the distributive property as our first step. One third of 4 is 4 thirds x. A third of negative 4 is negative four thirds and a third of neg oh nope the third doesn't go with the negative six because it's only what's inside the parentheses so that still equals negative six now in my class we do something that's called fraction busting i don't know what the technical mathematical term for it is but that's just what my middle school teacher called it so that's what we call it in my class as well. So to fraction bust, you multiply by a common denominator, which in this case is 3. And you multiply the whole equation by 3 just to eliminate the fraction piece. Because fractions aren't as simple to work with as whole numbers. So 3 times 4 is 12. 1 times 3 is 3. So 12 divided by 3, or 12 thirds, is the same as 4. So we're going to write down 4x. Then I have 3 times negative 4 would be negative 12. And that invisible 1 times 3 would be 3. But negative 12 divided by 3 is negative 4. And then we have 3 times negative 6 is negative 18. Now all of our terms are made out of whole numbers, so it just makes the problem a little bit simpler. We are going to move the 4 to the other side. In order to do that, negative 4 plus 4 gives us 0. Negative 18 plus 4 puts us back at negative 14. 
and I still have 4x over here on the left. Then I divide both sides by 4. This gives me just x. And 14 divided by 4 is 3 and a half, but it is negative 14 divided by 4. Now to check our solution, we're going to go through those same steps again. Negative 3 and a half times 4 is negative 14. And we added that negative 4 to it, which gives us negative 18. And then we took a third of that sum. third of negative 18 is negative 6. So we were correct. The number they were thinking of was negative 3 and a half. And after we followed their steps, we also got negative 6. For parts A and B, we are going to fill in the boxes with three different digits from numbers 1 through 9. Our goal is to get the largest x and the smallest x. Now my class started out by just choosing random numbers from 1 through 9 to put in here. So something like 3x minus 6 equals 9. And so when we solved that, we had to add 6 to both sides, which gave us 3x equals 17. And then we divided by 3. 3 fits into 15 five times with two extras to get to 17. So we examined what happened. We saw that we ended up adding these two numbers together and dividing by this number. So if we wanted to make the largest, we would want to add the highest numbers we could together. So instead of 6 and 9, we chose 8 and 9 because those are the biggest two digits from 1 to 9. And then if we want a large number, is it better to divide by a big number or divide by a small number? Well, if we divide it into a lot of pieces, those chunks get smaller and smaller and smaller. Think about a pie. If we divide it in fewer parts, those pieces are bigger. But if we continue to split it up, those pieces get smaller and smaller. So we wanted to divide by a small number here. And so then we tried that to see if we could get the largest x possible. So here I have a single x minus 8 equals 9. And so I added 8 to both sides. And that gave me x equals 17. And 17 is quite a bit bigger than 5 and 2 thirds. So we said with 1x minus 8 equal 9, that x came out to 17. Now if we want the smallest x value possible, we're going to want to split it up into a bunch of pieces. So we're going to put our biggest number here. And we want to split a small amount into a bunch of pieces. So we put our smallest numbers here and here. So we added 1, so it made 0 here, and we had to do it to the other side as well. And that gave us 9x on the left. So the last step is to divide by 9. <coughs> Excuse me. So x equals 3 ninths, but that can be reduced. 3 fits into 3 one time and 3 fits into 9 three times, so we can reduce it to 1 third. In class, there is an I have who has game that can be played. Basically what you do is you're going to have a card, you're going to find the solution, and then you're going to ask who has the solution of this number. 
and the next person has to solve their card to figure out what their solution is for X. And so you go around the room solving your card and listening for your solution. You can work on some of these problems here if you'd like to. We also just used some digital practice of solving four equations. Check back for lesson 14. It should be posted shortly.